Hi, I'm Elsa Britton. I'm here with the Canadian Clay and Glass Gallery, and today we're all going to learn how to make clay pizzas. So I'm going to start out by rolling out a nice slab of clay for my pizza. Uh, again, we're making sure we're working on a porous surface so the clay doesn't stick. I'm going to section off a bit because we're going to use that for toppings and for the crust of our pizza later. So uh, I've rolled out a slab and now I'm cutting it into a circular shape. This is about how thick you want your slab to be. Now that I have my slab, I'm gonna roll out my crust with a nice long coil, again, keeping my fingers apart so that I get it nice and long and even. I'm gonna score around the edge of the pizza and I'm gonna score along the whole crust just to make sure everything sticks together and then I'm gonna add a little bit of water before I attach the two. I'm gonna attach it and I'm gonna squish it down all the way around so that it has nice contact all the way and I'm gonna trim off that little extra piece there. So now I have my crust attached to the base of my pizza. Now is the fun part. You get to start choosing what toppings you want to put on it. So I'm just smoothing out to get rid of any fiddly bits. And now I'm prepping a little scrap of clay to cut out. Um, I think I'm doing mushrooms here. So we're going to start with some nice little mushrooms for our pizza. Um, pizzas are fun because you can kind of get really creative with what toppings you want to put on it. Um, I'm going to show you a couple examples here and probably in the process make um, a very interesting pizza. So uh, we have mushrooms that I'm putting on. Again, always making sure to scratch and attach. Uh, when I'm cutting out more complicated shapes, I like to draw them out with my um, little wooden skewer tool before I cut uh, just to make sure I have the shape that I want before I go for cutting. So here I'm making a little pepperoni. I find for pepperonis, after you cut out the circle, pinching around the edge to give it that upward turn um, makes it a little more realistic just because, uh, you know, when you bake a little pepperoni pizza, all the pepperonis kind of curl up around the edges. So that's what I was doing there. Now I'm attaching my little pepperoni to my pizza. Um, you can see on the one, I already have little scraps that are going to be green peppers and onions. I think I have an anchovy there and some bacon. So we've got lots of stuff going on. Um, if you're finding your scraps are too small, just take your rolling pin and roll them out a little bit flatter. It'll give you more space. Um, and every time I, I cut out a shape, just because these pieces get covered in glaze, which is glass, I'm going to make sure I go around and smooth it out with a sponge before I attach it so we don't have any sharp pieces. So here we go. I've added all my pieces to it. Here's my beautiful pizza. And now with some movie magic, we have it fully baked. So here's a clay pizza, um, all finished. 